2017, I woke up to this view this morning and I just know it's going to be an amazing year. Feel as I'm having a surf and I am about to go and hit the beach and get some sun and then later on today I'm going to get a massage. Seriously, I'm having such an amazing time. I feel so relaxed, so happy in Hawaii. I've met up with Phil who had an incredible snack and now we're going to have a little snack to eat and basically just chill out because I think finally we're very relaxed which is an amazing thing. So it's our final day at Turtle Bay Resort and tomorrow we head off to Honolulu and very excited to get there. Phil's out having a surf and I am about to hit the gym. I'm in my Lorna Jane workout gear. <laughs> and then I might go and have a swim and I've got a facial later today, which is very, very exciting. So I just got back from the gym. I've just had a shower and now Phil has come back from his surf and we're going to go and get some lunch. We have eaten in some of the best restaurants in the world and I've got to say coming to Hawaii and eating from the food trucks and like those little traditional Hawaiian bakeries are absolutely some of the best meals that I've ever had. So if you come to Oahu on the North Shore definitely check out Ted's Bakery we highly recommend it and what's even better is that when you buy your lunch there they give you a free piece of pie. Beautiful. Phil and I are off for our final dinner at Turtle Bay. I just had a facial and also a hair treatment, which is why my hair and my face is so shiny. Phil dared me to go to dinner without putting makeup on, so challenge accepted, Phil. I'm not putting any makeup on. I just put some mascara and some lipstick on and I'm good to go. I didn't want to ruin all their good work that they did with the facial, so I'm just gonna let all this good stuff sink in. I had a vitamin D facial and it was amazing. I'm wearing this very casual dress from C. We just had a beautiful dinner at Roy's. Now we're heading back to our room and we're gonna pack our bags because it's our final night at Turtle Bay and tomorrow we're heading down to Waikiki, one of our other favorite places in Oahu. Oh, and it's very dark. <laughs> so we might call it a night here since you can't even see us. But... Hey everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through my process of packing. We're moving now. I have my, my dirty underwear and my dirty panties and here. This I will wash when I get to the next uh, hotel. Okay, so if we come over here, I've laid out my, my case on the floor, opened it up wide, so I have a lot of options for packing. My jeans. A lot of people like to take off their belt from their jeans. I like to leave it on. Fold once, finger in the crotch, fold, fold, Fold that I place in the corner of my case. T-shirt here, I will do the same. I will fold, fold, and fold in place. And I will keep on folding and packing my cases until the case is full. And that is my tutorial on how to pack a case when moving from one hotel to the next. As you can see, I just folded this one and I place. See you next time. <laughs> We are all packed up and ready to go. We're off to Honolulu today. Quick outfit of the day before we depart Turtle Bay. I'm wearing this dress from Seed. It's a lovely little denim dress and it's got pockets and I'm also wearing this with my Chanel Espadrilles. I'm also wearing it with my Louis Vuitton little bag here as well. All right, are you ready to rock? Yeah. Let's go. 24 karat magic in the air, yeah.
So I just checked into the Outrigger on the Beach Hotel and I thought I would do a room tour and the view is pretty amazing. Come and check it out. All right, so when you first walk into the room, you've got this corridor and it does feel a little bit pokey when you walk in, but it gets better, I promise you. We've got a bathroom in here. So, um, <laughs> little bathroom in here. We've actually got two bathrooms, which is really handy. And then you walk through this corridor and we have our bedroom, which is really nice. It's got a little balcony there. Um, and you can actually see Diamond Head through there, which is awesome. And then we have another bathroom in here, which is great. So he's in her bathroom, which is excellent. And we have a balcony here, which is our view from our room, which is gorgeous. Then we go through to the living area and we have two balconies out here. So it's a great room, huh? It's a ripper. Um, it so we have a balcony there and also a balcony out there. Great little seating area here, table, so I can actually do some work. This is the view from the first balcony, <laughs> which is pretty spectacular. Wow. We're on the 10th floor, so uh, we're pretty high up. Gorgeous view of Diamond Head. And then that is our other balcony there. So we have a full corner suite and it's just spectacular. I'll take you out to the other balcony. Phil's just loving the view. Um, it's great, we've got a deck chair out on this balcony, which is great. And yeah, another balcony here, which is great because then you get sun and shade. So, very fortunate, very blessed to have this gorgeous room. Yeah. We're staying here for the next 12 nights, which is pretty amazing and then from here we're going to head up to the Halakalani Hotel which is one of my favorite hotels and we'll be staying there for another week so we have a long time here and we're just so excited to be here it's been a really massive year for us it's been a successful year and we thought we would treat ourselves by having a month in Hawaii so <laughs> we were very blessed and very just so happy to be here and Wow, I can't believe this view. It's just, it takes your breath away. We are just having a little stroll and we've come to the Royal Hawaiian and we are going to have a little snack and a drink at their bar because it's gorgeous right on the beach. Feeling very happy to be here. I'm <laughs> even wearing like my star shirt in celebration. Yeah. Oh, so blessed, so blessed. So Sitting at the Royal Wine Bar, about to have a drink. I'm actually so thirsty because I've been walking around a lot. So I ordered one of these. <laughs> it's massive, it's very heavy. It's filled with uh, margarita and Phil has a Mai Tai here. Which looks so small in comparison. comparison. Oh my god, it's crazy. Oh yeah, it's also very strong. <laughs> We just saw the sun go down and it was absolutely spectacular. Check out the view, you guys. Here's Phil. And look at this. But I think the camera does it justice.
So I and I are about to head off and get some breakfast and of course we're going to do a quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Dior sunglasses and my Tiffany and Co pearl earrings. I'm wearing this beautiful dress from Feather and Noise in Australia. I've got my Yves Saint Laurent uh, clutch and also my uh, sandals from Seed in Australia as well. Happy now with your tea? Yes. <laughs> and Phil is going to tell you a little story. Oh, just across the road from our hotel uh, is the International Marketplace. Now this used to be just a really lo-fi kind of stalls and, and uh, touristy stuff, but they've done it up and they've kept all the trees inside. Let's go and have a look. I was a little bit sad when I heard that they were going to kind of redo this, but from what I hear it's amazing. So it was all kind of set under these beautiful big ancient trees. on and we're gonna go for a swim it's such a gorgeous day oh the sun is so strong good morning guys it's another great day in Hawaii Phil is actually already out in the surf and he's catching waves. I've just put on some very light makeup and I've put my swimmers on and I'm wearing this sarong today, my Haviana thongs. And I'm ready to go and hit the beach. At the hotel, they also give you a little tote bag that you can use at the beach. So I've just filled this up with all my goodies today. And I'm gonna go down there because I've just hired two beautiful seats on the beach and uh, we're gonna go and relax at the beach today so let's go and get some sun there really hasn't been that much to vlog today because we've had a very chilled out day on the beach look at phil he's chilling out he went for a surf earlier on his board and now he's just all about the chill get my hat because it's very important to keep your face out of the sun. And I just picked this up from the hotel. I quite like it. Ooh. So we're off to have dinner tonight with Phil's cousin and his family and they've got the cutest kids ever. We're off to have Korean food tonight and it's like traditional Korean food. Like this is the real Phil stuff. Yeah, and it's local kind of uh, hole in the wall place that only the locals would know. Yeah and it's amazing and absolutely starving so I can't wait to get there. You excited? Yeah. You look similar you guys. Yeah because we're cousins. <laughs> YouTube channel and he's a member of a couple of others so 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 everybody so if you're watching this check out the five eyes it's a really funny YouTube channel and if you live in Hawaii you can check us out in Manoa at Hawaii and it's just spelled the five eyes like I like the I not the letter I people always do mistake that so check us out here we have the old-fashioned lemon malasados, which we have six dozen of the original flavor, which is like a Portuguese donut that is deep fried, dough that is deep fried into a round suckling pastry. 
and then dipped generously in a bowl of sugar. <laughs> I'm using big words to confuse me. Wow. That's correct. And then we also have some that are filled with Dobosh chocolate or the island favorite of custard. Custard. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. Mm. Whoa. Good luck we are going on a hike yeah. tomorrow, Phil. Have it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Have at it. Yeah. <laughs> She's speechless. Oh my gosh, it's so Where's warm and sweet. Where's the chocolate one for me? Wait, we're listening to that. Mm. It's never as good as when you first get it. Yep. Trust me. It's so good. It's still hot. You can't stop eating it. I know, right? 